In the outfield, observe V. Cullum Rogers of The Spectator is funny, poignant, and expertly performed with an honesty, humor, and courage that I doubt we'll see equaled in a theater anytime soon. In first grade, I'd practice kissing with my friend Debbie. Mm -hmm. We'd go behind the weather easel in the classroom, hold hands on the playground, smooch openly by the monkey bars. Mm -hmm. Alan R. Hall of the Chapel Hill News wrote that Laurie Wolf weaves a magical tale that is alternatively funny, sad, frightening, joyful, and uniquely honest. Wolf displays a wealth of comedic talent and excellent timing. In the Outfield is a show about baseball, it's a show about lesbianism, and also about human sexuality, but mostly it's a show about courage and honesty, a powerful tool that we may each use to see ourselves more clearly. It is a painful, beautiful, sometimes brutal truth. In eighth grade, my gym teacher writes in my yearbook, too bad you can't play baseball anymore. <laughs> Why don't you try out for cheerleading? Cheerleading? Cheerleading makes me vomit. <laughs> Lori Wolf takes us on a spirited, gloriously theatrical journey from birth to rebirth. Lori Wolf is a commanding, assured presence, comic and supremely humane. Scott Ross of the Independent Weekly. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I'm a lesbian. Wolf had me rooting for her so wholeheartedly that when the house lights went on and she asked all the lesbians to identify themselves, I wanted to raise my hand. Laird Harrison of the Durham Herald Sun. I'm a lesbian. Are you a lesbian? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Where? Critics and audiences agree that Lori Wolf and In the Outfield are a powerful combination of talent and authenticity that come together to create one of those rare moments when life and art merge. So, now I have a new sister. These are my toys. You don't have any toys that I want. She's older than me. You play with boys. I don't play with boys. She's got they long hair. Booties. You look like a boy anyway. She takes care of her hair. We share the same room. He talks a lot. He never shuts up for a minute. You better not come on my side. Baby, baby, stick your head in gravy. Wash it out with bubble gum and send it to There's the never any These quiet in our room. You I, want to play with. You play with I saw in the outfield in Chapel Hill with my mother, a fan wrote to Laurie Wolf and she wasn't offended. The play was thoroughly charming and imaginative, along with its truth and honesty. Thank you for expressing with humor and poignancy what so many of us have lived. When I finally came out to my stepmother, she said, oh, I already knew, would you cut me a few onions? <laughs> what did she mean she already knew? If she already knew, why didn't she tell me? Sure would have saved me a lot of money in therapy bills, right? It was easy for me to relate to your little girl who loves sports, another fan wrote, as that was certainly part of my history as well. I, too, was denied access to Little League, but I knew I would have made it and was better than a lot of the boys. Baseball's my game. I love the green grass, the brown dirt, the white bases, the uniforms. I love everything about it. The smells of hot dogs, peanuts, popcorn. Hey, get your peanuts here. I get hypnotized by the players walking in the outfield. Their feet just disappear in the grass. And I imagine myself. Number four. Duke, 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 Duke. Snyder, 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 Snyder. Trotting out of the dugout taking my place in center field. In 1994, the Independent Weekly awarded Lori Wolf and Indy a Triangle Arts Award for a new breed of arts people. 
Outfield Productions, and the Freeman Group are currently developing in the outfield for television.